In this final lecture of this generic section, I'm going to talk about two built-in generics in TypeScript, which is partial and read-only. We also have other built-in generics, which I'm not going to cover in this section, but I'll share a link in the description, which you can go through and learn about other built-in generics in TypeScript. So let's go to VS Code and let's start with partial generic type. And what is its use? So here I have created a simple interface called user settings. Now let's go ahead and let's create an object using this interface. So let me create a variable. Let me call it user. You can name it anything. And this user, it is going to be of type user settings. Okay. So when we are creating this user in there, we need to have a username, right? So this username is going to be, let's say, John Smith. And let me remove this one. Okay, then it should also have an email property. Let's say johnsmith at gmail.com. Then let's say dark mode. Initially, we'll set it to false. Okay, and language, we'll set it to maybe en. Okay, so this is how we will create an object of type user settings. And let's also create a function here. And let's call this function maybe update user settings. And this function, it is going to receive a parameter. Let's call it partial settings. Okay, and it is going to be of type user settings. All right. And what we are going to do inside this function is we are simply going to update the value for dark mode and language. So here we will say partial setting dot dark mode equals true and partial setting dot language equals maybe fr. Okay. So now what we want is we have this user setting interface using which we can create user objects. Okay. And let's say by default when we are creating the user object, the dark mode will be false and language will be default to English. But now the user wants to change his settings. For example, he wants to use dark mode. So this dark mode should be true and the language should be his local language, maybe German or French or something like that. So for that, he can call this update user settings function. Okay. And while calling this update user settings function, since this function is only going to update the settings property of the user, like this dark mode property and the language property, what we want is we want to send an object to this partial settings parameter with only these two properties. Okay. We don't want to send this username and email property because we don't want this function to be able to manipulate the username and email property also of the user. So here we can use partial. Basically using the partial generics, we can make properties of an object optional. Currently all these properties are mandatory. But using the partial, we can make all the properties of a type as optional. So what we will do is here we are going to create a new variable. I'll call this variable new settings. Okay. And in this one, I'm going to have dark mode property set to true. Okay. And language set to users local language. Okay, so here I'll say fr. Okay, and here we will not do the settings. Instead, we will simply log the settings. So let's say console.log. And here we will say updating. So this should be a string value. So I'll put it within quotes. Okay. And then I want to log the object which we are going to receive for this partial settings parameter. Now here we have specified that this partial settings should be of type user settings. So when I'm going to call this update user settings function, let me call it here. And to that, let me pass this new settings. In the new settings, we have the dark mode and language property, but we don't have username and email property. So that's why we have this error because this partial settings, it is of type user settings. So it should also have username and email property in the object, but we don't have those properties in this new settings object. And that's why we have this error. So to resolve this problem, what we can do is we can use partial here. Okay. And we use partial as generic. So we use angle brackets after that. And in those angle brackets, we specify the type. 
So here we are specifying the type as user settings and it should be partial. Okay, so what this partial will do is whatever object we will create using this user settings interface, it will make the properties of those objects as optional. That means if I scroll down, you will see that that error is gone. That's because now the object which we are passing to this parameter, partial settings parameter, there it is expecting an object of type user settings. And in the object of type user setting, we should have name, email, dark mode and language property. But since we have used partial here, what it will do is it will make these properties optional. So none of these properties are mandatory. And that's why even when we are only setting two properties here for this new setting object, since the properties of this user settings are optional, these properties are optional because that's what we have specified using this partial. Even if we are not specifying the username and email, we are not getting any error now. So this partial is a generic type. It is a built-in generic type, which is used to make the properties of a type as optional. All right. So where can we use this partial? We can use partial in such scenarios where only partial data is required. For example, if we are submitting a form from the UI where we are not passing the value for all the fields from the UI before processing that forms. Okay, so this is one use case of this partial generic. And using this partial generic, we make all the fields of a type as optional. All right, now let's talk about another built in generic in TypeScript. Let's say, let me create a variable. I'll call it as ARR. And this is going to be an array of string. Okay, in there, let me go ahead and let me store two string values. Maybe John and Mark. All right, now what I want is I want to add a new element to this ARR array. For that, I can say ARR.push. And I'm going to push a new value, let's say Mary. So now if I go ahead and if I log this ARR in the console, if I save the changes, you will see that there's three elements, John, Mark, and Mary. But what I want is once this array is created, I want to make this array read only. So no more elements should be pushed to this array and no elements should be deleted from this array. And for that, we can make use of read only generic. So here, what we can do is before this string, we can specify read only. This is a generic. Okay, and I can wrap it like this. And now you see when I'm trying to use push method here, I'm getting an error because now this ARR, it is read only. I cannot change this ARR. I cannot add elements or remove elements from this ARR array. If I hover over this push, you will see that it is throwing us an error. Property push does not exist on type read only. Okay, so this is the use of read only. And we can use read only with objects, arrays or any other value. Let me also try to use it with an object and show you how it works with object. So again, I'm going to create an interface or we already have an interface here of type user settings. And based on that, we have created an object here, this user object. And we are saying that this user object should be of type user settings. Now what I will do is I'll make this user settings as read only and to this read only, we need to use angle brackets and we need to specify the type which should be read only. So now this user settings, it should be read only. So when I've created this user object, which is of type user settings, and we have marked it as read only using this read only property. If I try to go ahead and if I try to change any of its properties, let's say user dot username equals something. You see, we have an error. And this error also says cannot assign to username because it is read only property. So using this read only generic, we can make an array or an object or a value read only. And we use it on a type. Here we are specifying what type of value should be read only. In this case, this user settings, it is a type. So any value of this type should be read only. Here in this case, we are using this read only on this string type, which we are assigning to this ARR array. So any value which we are going to store in this ARR array, that should be read only. Currently, 
we are storing this array so after that this array cannot be modified because we have marked it as read only so this is the use of read only generics in typescript and in the same way we have many other built-in generics in typescript i'll share a link in the description you can go through that link and you can learn about other built-in generics in typescript so this is all from this lecture and from this section if you have any questions related to generics then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day